Hello everybody, um, here's my second video. Now when I was making this I realised it was going to be way too long so I've decided to turn it into a three-parter. This is going to be part one so sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to an unboxing but an unboxing with a little bit of a difference so i have actually unboxed this already this is my second attempt the reason why it's my second attempt was because the first time i did it i kept getting interrupted and i was interrupted about half a dozen times so i thought scrap it and I'll just show you what I've got out of it, um, you know, after the fact. So you're not going to get my genuine reaction straight away, but I will let you know what came in the package and we can have a little look at it. Now, this is um, from the Diamond Painting Club by Easy Whim. Uh, now, they're a subscription-based service. Um, they also have a shop as well where you can choose and you can buy stuff. But um, I was tempted by the the adverts um, for these uh, sort of mystery boxes, if you like. You get um, uh, one box a month. This is the cheapest um, of, of, their, uh, of their services. Um, in here you get two regular size diamond paintings, two 30, 30 by 40 diamond paintings, and also some um, off the canvas, some, some special... Um, diamond painting projects as well. Um, you can get bigger ones uh, with, with more canvases. You can, can get them with, uh, with other crafts in them as well. But I've just take, chosen the basic one. I, th I thought we'd give it a go for a few months. Have a look at what you get. See whether or not it's value for money. Plus, I'm a bit of a sucker for a mystery box. So, yeah, it ticks that box for me. So everything came packaged in this lovely box. It was originally in a in a one of those plastic um, mailer envelopes, um, which had been bubble wrapped. Um, but this is a, a lovely sturdy box that it's came in. Anyway, so what I'll do is I'll go through what, I, uh, as you can see, it's empty because I've taken everything out. <laughs> but we'll 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 have a look at what what I did take out of it, and. Uh, have a look at the diamonds as well so what we'll do first of all is we'll look at the the special projects i should really have got a bit more organized i think they're over here right okay so the first thing we got was um one of these mats which is one of these non-slip mats on the other side it's kind of that sticky non-slip back stay in any I'm saying it'll stay in any surface but it doesn't seem to be sticking to this table I don't know what I really use it for to be honest uh, I may mean, use it as a coaster anyway it's got a pretty enough design um, a butterfly like a fleur de lis design at the side there was no key that came with it However, the key, um, the drills packets are labelled up um, with the what's on the uh, spaces to drill onto. So it came with a, this one came with a basic toolkit, um, a green boat, a pen and some wax. And it also came with, I think it was nine, yeah nine different drills so we have some um some round paralyzed coated drills some pale yellow rhinestones and some larger faceted clear drills we've got these faceted um iridescent coated drills they're shining oranges and pinks Got a fuchsia pink rhinestone, large round circular drill, 
a clear rhinestone, clear faceted marquee, marquee shape drill. And uh, you missed my exclamation when I saw these because I haven't seen these before. And these are just little uh, rectangular square, uh, rectangular square, rectangular uh, uh, gems. So I'll be interested to see where they go, actually. Ah, I see where they go. We only need two. And they, they go on the butterfly's body here. So what I'll do is I'll um, I'll work this up. And uh, it's going to be really quick. So what I might do is I might work this up and then um, pop in at the end of the video uh, with, with uh, the completed project. Okay. So that was the first item. Second item were um, some stickers, sort of marine animals. So we've got a shark. Uh, I'll keep, keep twizzling them upside down and upside down, Ray. <laughs> Octopus, a couple of fish, seahorse, uh, lobster. Almost <laughs> forgot what that was there. A lobster, another fish, a crab, and a little hermit crab. Again, these came with, um, I think mean, is it, yep, yeah, these came with a, with a basic, um, toolkit. And the drills this time are just plain. Um, plain round drills, no facets, and again, no key, but the, labels on the packets match up with the spaces where you have to drill to. So I've got a nice turquoise, very marine light colours here, a blue, deep sea green, a mustard a yellow, white, a little bit of black, orange, lovely purple, a dark deep pink and an orangey red what's to bet that's going to be the octopus and the crab and the lobster so again simple little stickers uh, again i might work these up today uh, uh, later on as well and uh, pop that in at the end of the video maybe not all of them maybe maybe just that little one one sheet of stickers there okay So hi guys, and here we are with a post review of the first couple of products from Easy Whim. Um, so this is the phone mat, and what we'll do is we will start with the positives, and we'll look at the leftover drills. So there were plenty the drills were really good quality. Plenty of leftovers. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that very well. But plenty of leftovers, particularly these ones here on the rhinestones. Again, lots of leftovers. And these are the little rectangular ones. Again, we were given six, um, but uh, we only need two. So that's the plus side. Lots of drills, spare drills, good quality, virtually no trash. Now, let's get on to the um, <laughs> the phone mat itself um well i'm not impressed sorry i'm not impressed um i haven't done anything extra to this but um i will be these uh, pearl have pearl gems here they slide around so much i mean look at that i just push it gently and they're just they're not sticking at all. 
not at all i mean you know if you were to hold it vertically if you're told upside down they're not going to fall off but they just they just move around so much and it's not just those ones um i think yes over here they weren't sticking down very well you can see if i push here can you see them moving around now i did think about sealing it but i think that would destroy well, i don't know maybe it, it might work um it might destroy the mat itself the only other alternative that i can think of is to to take the drills off the seal down there is just like moving around so much is to take the drills off and then um glue them on with some high tack glue well we'll see we'll see i'll, I'll have a think about it um and the other thing that i, I found strange is can you see this butterfly here if you look this wing here there's gems all over it. However, on this one, you know, in the bottom wing and the top part of the wing, you know, it's not sticky and there's no um, rhinestone placement, you know, um, marked to go down there. I mean, look at this, this is sliding around so much. This, this thing here's moving around now. Around now. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking, you know, maybe, I might get some glue and fill in with more clear rhinestones. You know, I've got plenty of them. So yeah, that's the phone mat. Not impressed. Sorry, Easy Whim. Zero out of 10 for the first product. Okay. The other um, project that I finished were the stickers. Let's move up slightly so you can see these a little bit better. Okay. A bit better. There we go. That's a bit better. So uh, these were, on the other hand, were really delightful. Lovely. I mean, you can see that the cover paper was crinkled and um, it was coming away, the actual sticker was coming away from the, the backing paper but that hasn't affected the drill placement at all so when this, you take the sticker off which I'll do now you see? perfectly, perfectly fine, perfectly fine so these are so sweet these little marine animals what i think i might do is I've, I've got some portfolios um that i keep my diamond paintings in my completed diamond paintings in oh what can i decorate um use the stickers to help decorate some of those i've got stickers over them anyway from from other things so you can add these to them as well um i would have loved to have seen googly eyes i feel that this these stickers kind of lend themselves to have it having googly eyes but hey you know i think for, for what it is it's absolutely fantastic um plenty of leftover drills again more than enough to complete the project and the gems the drills very very good quality um no trash nothing to see basically um there was one minor downside to the stickers some some of the, the symbols were quite faint um i don't know if that was um an error in the printing it seemed to be random but number two which was on the ray this um sort of dark pink color uh the, the, from the spots on the ray that was you know you could see any of those i mean it was easy enough to work out what it was but you couldn't actually see the symbol very well um but yeah i mean aside from that um these were really cool to work on uh, and uh, really fun so 
compared with a phone mat. Um, the stickers were fantastic. I'll all use them to decorate uh, my diamond painting portfolios. Okay, so um, I'll be back uh, shortly uh, with uh, a post completion review on some of the other Easy Whim products that uh, I have unboxed. Okay, and uh, good luck, uh, take care, and uh, hope to see you all again soon. Cheerio!